Oh no. Hi, my name is Whitney Milam. Welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be attempting to make vegan pupusas. Now, pupusas are uh, kind of similar to tamales, except for they aren't wrapped in a corn husk. They are flattened into a disc and then fried in a pan. And the filling that I'm going to be doing is a vegan ground beef. I heard that you could do a pretty convincing vegan taco meat using walnuts and lentils. And so that is what I'm going to try today. So let's get started. So step one, I am going to combine one can of drained and rinsed lentils. If you don't have canned lentils, you can just pre-cook about a cup and two thirds of red or yellow lentils. Then I'll combine that in a saute pan with half a cup of very finely chopped walnuts. Now the lentils will be soft and the walnuts will be a little bit firmer and so that's where we get kind of that ground beef texture. So while my pan is heating up, I have just rinsed my lentils and I'm going to go through these walnut pieces and give them a finer chop. All right, that should be good. So I'm just gonna add those into the lentils because they're going in at the same time anyway. And then I'm just gonna add my seasoning right away. Now I am opting to add onion and garlic to my mixture as well. I'm gonna dice those up really quick before I get started. Now I like shortcuts, so I'm going to use some pre-chopped garlic for that. So I'm gonna take the chopped onion and one tablespoon of garlic and throw it in my saute pan until the onions are translucent. And I'm using coconut oil for this recipe because I personally like cooking with coconut oil, but if you want, you can use olive oil or another oil. So while the onions are sizzling away, I am just going to start adding my seasoning to my lentil and walnut mixture. So I'm gonna do two teaspoons of chili powder, half a teaspoon of cayenne, and half a teaspoon of chipotle. Now I'm keeping it kind of light on the hotter spices because I am such a wimp when it comes to spice, but if you want it spicier, feel free to kick it up a little bit. And yes, I know this is a giant thing of chili powder, but we like chili powder in this household. And I'm using dark chili powder because I think it has a little bit smokier flavor, which can really help when you're trying to make something taste a little bit more meaty. I've heard of using liquid smoke, but that is a little bit too fancy for me at this moment. I am not quite there yet in my culinary prowess or arsenal. So no liquid smoke in this one yet, but I think that using like smoked paprika or a darker chili powder can accomplish something kind of similar. All right, and I'm just gonna kick it with some black pepper as well. I don't know how much that is, I'm just eyeballing it. And then um, maybe like a scant teaspoon of salt. Now since the onions are still cooking and my lentils are really not going to take that long to heat up because they're already pre-cooked, I'm going to start making my masa mixture. This is going to make eight servings. So four cups of masa and then as much liquid as it takes to make it the consistency that I want. So it should be soft and pliable and easy to form into balls. So I'm going to get started on that. All right, my onions are actually ready, so I'm going to throw in my mixture. All right, time to incorporate some water. It's still everywhere in the process. <laughs> Even though I know that this is gonna need a good amount of water, I don't wanna add it all at the beginning, just in case, because if I've got too much water, I have to add more masa, so it's just better to add a little bit at a time. I'm gonna get some more. All right, it's falling up a little bit more. That's a good sign. And there will definitely be a point where the whisk is no longer feasible, so then just go in with your hands. And as I pat it down, it does come off of my hand for the most part, so I think this is the consistency 
that I'm going for. I just checked out my mixture and it is all ready to go, so I just took it off of the heat until I'm ready to work with it. And I am going to get my oil in my pan ready. So the initial recipe calls for these to be deep fried, but I just don't want to have an excess amount of oil if I don't need to. So I will play it by ear. If it looks like they really need a little bit more, I will do so and add the calories as needed. But for now, I'm just going to start with a small amount. Small relative to deep frying, I will say. It's still a lot of oil. So I just got that on medium high heat and I'm using about half a cup of vegetable oil. A lot of that should be reserved at the end so we won't freak out. And I'm just going to start forming my pupusas. The other ingredient that is going in these pupusas is some mozzarella cheese. And I am using Daya Dairy Free Shreds. So I'm just gonna take two cups of this cheese and put it in a microwave safe bowl. Throw it in the microwave for about 20 seconds just so that it's a little bit gooey and more pliable and I will be right back. Okay, that did almost nothing, cool. I think it probably does more if it's real cheese, but that's okay. So my goal is to make 16 of these pupusas. One thing that I like to do is kind of pre-portion out the masa that I'm working with. And so I'm just gonna kind of score it so that I can tell what a quarter looks like. So I need to get four out of each quarter, which I think is probably pretty doable. I'm supposed to form kind of like an egg-sized ball. So then take that and then kind of flatten it out on your palm into like a mini plate, just like a disc. All right, and then I need my filling. And then I'm just gonna spoon some of the mixture into the center. I need to make sure I don't overdo it. And then take some of your cheese. And then I just need to fold up the edges around it. We'll see if this works. Might be a little bit too wet. I'm gonna have to go with it for this one at least. Just be very gentle. Okay, it's, it's coming along. Oh, no, no, it fell out. Definitely sticking completely to my hand. <laughs> that's decent enough. So there's a little bit poking out, but that's okay. I'll kind of try to fix it as I go. And then I just need to smash that down so that it's about half an inch thick. This looks pretty good actually. I'm pleased with this. So I'm just gonna throw this in my oil and then again our filling is completely cooked so I don't have to worry about that aspect of it. Right. And then I'm just going to make sure that it gets brown on both sides. Ooh, that is a good sizzle. Okay, I gotta get working on the next one. I'm gonna add a little bit more. So this is gonna end up being probably four and a half cups of masa because of the amount of water that I put in. Okay, yeah, that's feeling better. That's a lot firmer, and I think it'll hold together better. This is looking pretty good, actually. I am excited. All right, so let's go in with our next one. This is feeling better to me. I think it's holding together better. I have high hopes for you, buddy. Come on. I feel like I need to wash my hands at every single step of this process. Oh, this is folding so much better. It's not sticking to my hand in the same way. So I have to be gentle, but it's working much better. Got a couple tears, but nothing like the last one. And I'm just gonna gently pat that down to get it to the thickness I want again. Okay, yeah, that one looks really great. So I'm just gonna toss that one in. almost like a little dumpling. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna make the rest of these and I will be right back. All right, so this is what our finished pupusa looks like. I am gonna give it a try. This is so good. Mmm. I'm not just saying that because I made it. It's really delicious. I think this would be amazing with some salsa or some kind of a taco sauce. This is so good. <laughs> All right, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you have any other recipes that you'd like to see me try to make vegan, leave it in the comment section down below. And don't forget to subscribe to see more about my weight loss journey. Thanks, bye.